Hi, this is Dr. Anime Shah. I am a consultant, clinical oncologist, and today we are going to discuss about kidney cancer. So, kidney cancer are cancer which forms in the tissues of kidney. So, the most common type of kidney cancer is transitional cell carcinoma. According to Globocon data 2020, there are about 17,000 new cases of kidney cancer in India in 2020, along with 11,000 deaths from kidney cancer. Now coming to the causes of kidney cancer. Number one cause of kidney cancer is smoking. And it has been seen that one third of the cases of kidney cancer are due to smoking. Number two, radiation exposure. Number three, obesity. Number four, uh, exposure to certain chemicals like trichloroethylene, which is found in industries like uh, uh, adhesives or paint removers. Uh, number five, exposure to metals like arsenic, cadmium. Occupation that, may, that might be associated with higher risk of kidney cancers include uh, tanner workers, uh, shoe workers, uh, printing process workers, uh, asbestos workers, etc. Number seven is family history. So, uh, if one first degree relative is affected with a kidney cancer, the risk of having a kidney cancer doubles, and if that uh, relative is a sibling, the risk quadrupled. Genetic risk factors for kidney cancers include a von Hippel Lendo syndrome tubular sclerosis, adult polycystic kidney disease, etc. The symptoms of kidney cancer include a lump in flank or pain in flank, blood coming in urine, uh, weight loss, uh, swollen scrotum, uh, sometimes patients present with high blood calcium or high blood pressure. When the cancer spread to distant organ, patient might present with breathlessness, uh, jaundice or even bone pain. When a patient comes to us with suspected kidney cancer, we take a detailed history of the patient, we clinically examine the patient, we ask for some routine blood test and urine test. Renal ultrasound often the initial treatment that we ask. And then uh, we ask for a CT scan of chest, abdomen, pelvis, sometimes a whole body pet CT scan. And uh, sometimes we ask for a differential renogram or DMSA scan to check for a different fun differential function of the kidney. So when kidney cancer presents with early stage, uh, we do not uh, do a biopsy. But in advanced stages, we often need a biopsy before proceeding with cancer treatment. Based on the tumor size, local extent of the disease, spread of the cancer to nearby lymph nodes or distant organ, kidney cancer is divided into four stages, stage 1 to 4. The treatment of treat kidney cancer depends on various factors that include stage of the cancer, age of the patient, medical comorbidities of the patient and general fitness of the patient. Treatment of stage 1 to 3. The primary treatment at this stage is surgery. Usually a radical nephrectomy or partial nephrectomy is a recommended surgery which can be done through open approach or laparoscopic approach and with recent advancement of robotic surgery can also be considered. When the patients are not fit to undergo surgery, then non-surgical treatment like radiofrequency ablation cryotherapy, radiotherapy, or arterial embolization could be considered. Stage 4 or recurrent disease. This group of patients are usually incurable and they are treated with uh, immunotherapy, targeted therapy, or their combination. Palliative radiotherapy may sometimes be required for symptom control like pain or bleeding. And palliative nephrectomy, that means removal of the kidney, might sometimes be required even at this stage to control symptoms like excessive bleeding or pain.
patient with stage 1 to 3 kidney cancer can be cured with available treatment but stage 4 kidney cancer cannot be cured with available treatment the treatment intent at this stage is palliative which means try to control the cancer try to control the symptoms from the cancer and try to improve the quality and quantity of life for the patients although there is a limited subgroup of patient called oligometastatic disease which means limited small spread of the cancer to distant organ which can be considered for curative intent treatment thank you for watching